Hi guys! Today is Monday the 13th of November and we're starting another 7 minute workout challenge for a week. This is the 7 minute workout to lose belly fat, home workout to lose inches, 7 day challenge. So that's what I'm doing and it's essentially 7 1 minute workouts that you're going to do every single day for 7 days straight. I'm starting today and then we'll do this out sun Sunday. So I'm really excited and it seemed that you guys really liked the last video that I did as well. I think we're just gonna jump ahead. I just looked through all of the workouts and uh, they look pretty alright. There's like a no jump kind of burpee. We're just gonna try it. We'll see how it goes. I weighed myself and I was 89.3 kilos this morning. And I weighed myself yesterday and I was 88.6. So I think that's because I ate, a little, we were at a birthday party yesterday. So I ate more than the 1600 calories that I've been sticking to lately. And I also ate more salt. So I probably will drop like that portion pretty quickly. But I still wanted to make a note of that. And then I also took my measurements. My starting weight, we can say either 88.6 or 89.3 depending. Um, my waist is 88 centimeters, my left thigh is 67 centimeters, and my right thigh is 68.5. My belly is 117.5 centimeters, and my butt is 116. Hopefully those will change in the next week. I'm not gonna do any measurements or anything until Monday next week, so we can see how it all worked out. Now that you got my measurements, you got my weight, we're gonna get started. That was day number one. Um, the exercises are pretty straightforward. I noticed my ankles weren't really a fan of the one where you like stand like this with your legs and like shuffle them from side to side. The burpee kind of exercise was definitely the one that I personally found hardest. And my neck is really not a good big fan of crunchies, but other than that, we got through it and uh, we will for the next, well, six more days now. So I will just see you tomorrow when we're doing this again. And uh, this workout kind of promises you to lose one to two inches of your waist, which means that my waist should at least be smaller than 85 centimeters by the time we're done with this. So I'm very excited to see if that works. Hey guys, day number two. I have to say I'm not as excited for this workout as I was for the last one. It's just a couple of the workouts are a little not my taste, especially the jumping with the legs like back and forth like that. It just feels like my ankles does not approve. But at least it's just 60 seconds, so of course I will finish the workout for the seven days. But unlike the last one, I don't think this is one that I'm going to want to maybe do again. But we're just gonna hope, jump right into it. another day down and uh, it did feel easier today than it did yesterday probably because I knew what the exercises would be and I knew how to do them let's just go again tomorrow hi guys so we're doing day three today Harris is in the shower but we're just gonna jump ahead into the workout <laughs>
is now day four and I'm back at it again. It's still going pretty well and although parts of the workouts, even the ones that were really tough on the first try, has been a lot easier now. Um, so it's actually going pretty well and I don't mind the workout at all anymore like I did in the beginning. So I just wanted to update you and then we're just gonna get started. done. I'm gonna find some breakfast and some coffee. Yeah, those ab crushes are still crap though. Uh, in the video when Lucy does the crunches, she always has her legs in the air. I can't manage that, so I just lift it up to the right side when I need to. Um, and I can feel it working, so I don't know if it's gonna have a really big impact, but I just wanted to let you know that, that I do do that differently. But other than that, see you days to go. Hi guys, day five. I'm gonna be honest, I'm so tired. I just wanna go back to sleep. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get this workout in anyway. Well, I will get this workout in, but I'm gonna try to make it efficient. So I'm just gonna jump into it, and then hopefully I won't be dying at the end. <laughs> Alright, I did it. I'm not as tired anymore, so that's great. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then I'm gonna find my coffee. Oh. When I'm doing this in the morning, I'm always doing it fasted. So I've had a glass of water right when I wake up and then I drink water throughout the workout. But um, no food or anything apart from the when I've done this in the evenings, then obviously I've had food already. So yeah, two days left. I don't know. This short is like a little bit tight and a little bit far down. But I'm excited to see if we have any results. Okay, it's time for the second to last day. It's Saturday today, finally. I've been working today, so I'm super tired. It's now 10, 15 p.m. and I'm about to start this workout. Thank God it's only seven minutes long, which I can actually deal with even after working an entire day. So we're just gonna jump right into it. There's not a lot to say, we've done this five times already, so let's just jump right in. One day left. Tomorrow I probably won't be talking because Marius will probably be here when I do the workout. So um, I will do the measurements on Monday again like I did last time and then we're just gonna have to see if I get any results or not. I'm actually really excited. I don't feel like I look any thinner. Not that today is any good measure seeing that I've been eating before the workout today, but I'm really excited to see how Monday goes. It's the last day. We're just gonna go ahead. Last day. 
we'll see the results tomorrow. Hi guys, so it's Tuesday today. I know I said I would do this yesterday and I did take my measurements, but I didn't have the time to actually film this. So I did uh, weigh and measure myself yesterday and I also weighed and measured myself today just to see if there was any difference. My weight was at 89.3 yesterday and uh, I weighed myself this morning and it was 89.0, like 89 kilos. And then I weighed myself again this morning and it was 89.3. So probably 89.3, which means that there is no weight loss at all in the past week. And uh, again, like I know I could have gained muscle. So I'm not obsessing about the weight. And then I did my measurements and my waist is one centimeter smaller. And my belly is like half a centimeter smaller. Um, my butt is a centimeter smaller and uh, my thighs are the same. So I did lose maybe like an inch overall during this workout period. And like I've said before, I do eat about 1600 calories every day when I do these workout videos. And um, yeah, I don't think that's great results um, seeing that this is a waste um, challenge so you're supposed to lose weight in your waist or measurements in your waist and uh, she does say in the video that some people lose more around the waist and some people lose more around the belly I don't feel like I lost a lot anywhere and uh, maybe I didn't do all the exercises correctly I know I didn't do the sit-ups correctly seeing that I don't have my legs in the air all the time but either way those were the results that I have so I um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, again, like last time, please let me know if you want to see more videos like this and what videos you want to see. I'm still planning on doing the 30 day squat challenge, but I'm going to have to wait until I'm back from vacation to do that one. So it's coming, but it's probably going to be a little while still. And as always, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on Patreon at Crispy Black. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.